cute. I just we are going to our first professional photo shoot. I've never had a professional photo shoot taken. So we are going to create this look. This bronze. Lip gloss wise, you can kind of pick whatever you want, but I'll bring the whole journey with me so you guys can follow along. We're not gonna wear the hoops. I don't think I'm gonna wear the hoops. I'm probably gonna wear pearls. I'm probably gonna wear pearls. Um, I'm just looking at the camera right now, just to see how I look like with it, but obviously. Oh, it's so out. And we're gonna go with my roommate to her cousin's house because it's where the whole photo shoot, the whole photo shoot is set up. Do you want to see how this makeup comes to life? So I already started with the um, Sunkiss Booster Drops from e.l.f. And I put on my... This one is in the shade um, 8 or 280. I think it's medium. I was going to get medium golden just to get myself a little bit more broad. Excuse me. But it is winter and I noticed myself going a lot lighter. So those two have already been put. So now I kind of want to get straight into contouring opposite actually no let's do the eyes let's do the eyes with this tape i know it looks really freaking weird but it really pulls my look together we're gonna go in with a really condensed brush and we're gonna go with modern renaissance just because they have really like rich colors i'm gonna go in with um cypress umber umber Oh my god, that is really strong. You tell you, you feel me when I say like it's literally so pigmented and like it goes on so freaking quick and packed that you don't really need a lot. And then we're gonna blend it out with my contour. Um, but first, on the inner corners, I kind of want to go with like a bronze. If we're going with a bronze look, we're gonna go with all the brown brown golden colors so we're gonna go in with my morphe and we're gonna take on this color right here so this is the color that you probably will end up with um i'm i'm not sure if my if like during along the lines when you notice like maybe your liner is not on right just fix it oh girl the wine is giving me feeling good And then you just want to blend it out, but you don't want it to be too harsh in the front um, because you don't want to have like a freaking black eye. You kind of just want it fanning out. And I'm going to go ahead with Golden Fort. I'm going to fan out the harsh edges in the front. If you guys uh, want, I would take a like something like this, like a brush like that, and go in more of a shimmery shape. I am thinking a little bit of orange and like just go along the lines of like right here. We're going to blend it on the outer corner of our eyes because the orange mixed with that black color is it just like gives it a little bit more life, like, you know, a little bit color, but not too much. And I'm gonna go in back in with this. And I'm just gonna blend it out. I love their golds. Like, look at these two gold. They're so rich, so freaking pretty. I really wanna do Lost Boys too, eventually. The front of my eyes, I like to get glitter on it because it's more like compact glitter. Like, it's, it's neutral. It looks natural. And then after that, I kind of want to remove this. Yeah, it's nice. Concealer is my favorite part. I always use a color corrector before I put on concealer because I have some really major bags and really dark, like, scars. I am trying to look at the mirror, but also, like, trying to be in front of the camera, but the camera is kind of blocking the mirror, so... One strike line. You don't need a lot for um, 
part. You really need to know a little bit. And then work your way. We're gonna contour with Anastasia Beverly Hills. In shade Espresso. Hit that natural curves. That natural three, you know. That might have been a mistake. I don't really blend it like to the extreme where the line just goes off. I kind of blend it so the line still kind of stays there. So for an example, watch me blend. Like I just push it up. Buffer the shit in. You can always fix it later. Okay, now that is contoured. Okay, this probably is gonna be tricky because I kind of washed up. I think it'll be fine. I mean, it's fixable, right, guys? No stress. No stress. It's fixable. Wow, this is actually one of the few times that my eyeliner actually look kind of even. Maybe it doesn't look even in the camera. I don't know, but like here, I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, and then I kind of just contour my nose a little bit more. Don't do a lot. And then if you want a button nose. I recommend like just drawing like a little bridge and like shaping it into like a freaking circle so you have a button nose <laughs> um what am i doing oh okay so i feel like i need a palette for this thing like i love this translucent powder but it's called um i recently just got a new one luxury baking powder by revolution makeup or makeup revolution in banana we're gonna use this, but I don't have like um, a palette to kind of like put my makeup on, so we're just gonna put it on the back of our hand and hope for the best. Also, did my eyebrows. I have microtour. What? I have microblade. <laughs> I microbladed my eyebrows, but I like kind of like went over it with the pencil. Baking is great, but I don't really love like a defined shape, you know? Even though I'm doing it right now, but barely. You know, some people like really define their shape like that. I can't, I don't know. I feel like that looks unnatural, so I don't really do it like that. I wait a little bit. I don't really put like a bunch of powder underneath my eyes. And with a waterliner, you wanna open up your eyes, so put it underneath. Fix my contour before I I wipe off the excess just because it gives it more of a natural blend. Just dab it. Connect it with the lines so that it doesn't look like too strange. Makeup has been really fun for me. I mean, it's kind of like my escape route to, um, well, it's like my creative escape. Going back in, you don't want a harsh thing, but you also want to match the top of your eyes. I want to connect my eyes lightly because we're gonna go in with um, what's it called? Mascara, anyways. Okay. Yay. Going with mascara. Actually, if you want to open your eyes, I wouldn't really do mascara much um, if you're Asian because like mascara kind of closes your eyes out, but I want to do this anyway. It feels more dolly, dolly for me. I'm going to use Primavera from Modern Renaissance. I just put it in the middle of underneath my eyes because if you like push it all the way, I feel like it's too much. I'm going to top it off with blush. Same thing, I use a stippling brush, apple on my cheeks for that glowy look. And then I go in with a um, fluffy brush. Back in with Premier Vera. I'm gonna do a line through it. The line kind of pushes it up more. Next step would be um, lashes. While we're waiting, I'm gonna go plug in my 
curling iron and I'll be right back. So before I can do anything, I have to feed my dog. Um, he's been waiting for me to take him outside. So we're gonna have to take him outside. Um, oh my God, this thing is like pulling my pants out. I have my phone in my pocket and I'm wearing like basketball shorts type thing. Um, and this is like, when I put my phone in my pocket, it kind of pulls it down. This is our roommate's dog. Hi, Kiba. Look. Kiba. So my hey. outfit today, since we're hey. only doing from shoulder and up, I decided just to go with something simple. Um, I'm wearing a white t-shirt, even though my bra line is like totally showing off. Um, it's probably just gonna be from here, so we're probably just gonna get the collar and the shirt. So that's what I'm wearing. I also have a white blazer in my backpack. Um, for the professional part, this is for more of like a casual headshot. Um, yeah, for professional, I'm taking this off and putting on a blazer. I'm starving. I stopped by a Vietnamese place to get some food. The photo shoot will be here. Oh my God, this is gonna be so weird for me. But the view is so great. What happened? I think he peed. He's pooping. I can just catch his poop. Oh my god! No! Oh no! Good job, Kiba. Let's get it, girl. Let's get it, boo. Okay. It's good. So we're at Felicia's photo shoot room. Photo this is what studio. it look, what? Photo studio. Photo <laughs> Ghetto ass photo Photo studio. shoot room. <laughs> no, it's so cute. This is all you need. A background, a light, and a professional photographer. Yay. I am extremely nervous. But the lighting is finna be popping. Oh my gosh, yay. Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna set this up so you can see what I Should my hair fan out like this? Yeah. I would say. Smiling. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> I just saw a natural. <laughs> 